You understand? Yeah. It was to grow from. But you don't know that. You're depressed. You're mad. Like him. Wrong frequency. <laughs> there's something called densities. There's third, fourth, fifth, sixth. There's densities of life. Flesh that has nothing to do with your flesh. The reason why we deal in the flesh is we're going to get depressed over something. Where you're going to be low sometimes. You're going to think God left you because you don't know it's you. Once I make it through the depression, there's your expansion. You get it? You use your inner self, your inner magic. It is real. It is strong. It is trustworthy. This conductor that you are. You have to allow for yourself to be that conductor, to get the energy and harness the energy that meant for you to produce what it is that you want to produce. If I take God away from you, I can control you. You understand? If God is removed from your knowledge of self, are going to be caught in a cycle of life where trying to become something outside of yourself so that you can see some God because you're in the flesh. You don't know that you're God. It's to gain a relationship with that you that's very quiet, that's a whisper. You want that voice loud and say, don't do that. No, dog. That's the relationship you want. You want it to go from a whisper to loud. Make sure you give yourself time with yourself. Feeling good about it first, not wanting to see it, to believe it. Heavenly experience from the creation, the manifestation from a thought into physical. Resistance is going to be with you first. And then it's going to be from the outside, the closest one to that. You guys have the audacity to still follow your dreams, right? You got double the resistance that's got the audacity to step up and stop you and distract you. Make sure you do not do your work. Relationships, jobs, whatever you're perceiving in your life, resistance is going to be there for the creator. It just wants to stop you. I feel everything you're saying, but it's like sometimes that inner turmoil and all that. That's what makes you make something great sometimes, that battle that I have myself. For me. Yeah. You, you're gonna feel it. You know what I'm saying? Self-mastery only comes when you start to realize that dreams are not dreams. You are traveling somewhere when you wake up in the morning. You just came back from somewhere. It's real. It's not fake. All this is a part of you getting in tune with the higher self, knowing what life really is. Uh, the Bible explains it followed a certain way it where color comes in after the floods. After Noah was drunk in his tent and his youngest son Ham, which means burnt black, looked at the nakedness of his father's body. But the Bible says Noah woke up and knew what was done to him. Done. So there was an action. When Noah woke, he said, Curse be to Canaan, a servant of servant you shall be under your brother until the Does it say curse be to Canaan? He said the fourth seed. That's Canaan. Canaan is the fourth unborn son of Ham. There we go. Canaan was an unborn child. And Noah awoke and said, Curse be to Canaan now. It is a catalyst that you set up for yourself before you got here to keep you advancing on the mission that you came for. Don't forget that. Everything is all good. Everything. If you're religious and you believe in God, then you know that God is no part of any negative thing. A negative thing that you're going through, God is not in that. So if you're going through it, it's all good. Everybody don't know they're creators. It's people that work for other people and help them on their creation. Mm -hmm. They live their whole life working for Ford. Cool deal. Ford. That's his shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>